Hey, my name is Cesar. I am the CEO and co-founder at Latitude, the open source prompt engineering platform. Today I want to show you how you can do model comparisons with Latitude. So let's imagine you have a prompt already up and running in production and you want to try with a different provider maybe or a different model from the same provider to see if you can lower the cost of those runs um, and improve the quality maybe. So I'm going to start by creating a new project in Latitude. I'm going to call this model comparisons. Let's create it. And here I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to call it prompt. And as soon as it's created, I can ask the AI Copilot to write a prompt for me. In this case, I'm just going to keep things simple. I'm just going to ask it to um, generate a joke based on a user provided topic. So I submit this, and now it's going to generate a suggestion of a prompt for me. This prompt already uses our syntax, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's apply it. Let's see how it looks. You're a humorous AI that generates jokes based on a given topic. This is the user message with the topic. Um, make sure the joke is lighthearted and suitable for all audiences. Looks good enough. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to say the topic is trees. Run the prompt. OK. OK. Fairly funny. Cats. Let's see how it does. Awesome, perfect. So what I want to do now is I'm going to set up an evaluation to check whether the joke is lighthearted and suitable for all audiences, as I say in the prompt. So I'm just going to go to evaluations. I'm going to generate a new evaluation. This is going to take your prompt. It's going to run it through a LLM pipeline. And it's going to generate a suggestion for an evaluation that might make sense for this uh, specific prompt. Perfect. So the evaluation is generated here. I can see that it more or less makes sense. It's going to do a scale from 1 to 5. 1, the joke is not relevant or appropriate, and 5, meaning the joke is highly relevant, humorous, and appropriate for all audiences. Um, it includes an example and some examples for the output. And then the input has the context and response variables. It looks pretty good, so I'm just going to use it. So I'm going to create the evaluation now. So now that the evaluation is created, I'm going to run it in batch to see that it makes sense um, for different variations of my prompt. So to do so, I'm going to need to pick a data set. I'm going to generate one since I don't have one currently. I'm going to call this jokes. Um, the parameter is going to be topic, which is the parameter I'm using in my prompt. And here, I'm just going to say generate a list of topics for different jokes. I'm going to do 20 rows. Let's regenerate the preview. Animals, technology, food. Looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and generate it. Perfect. And now I can go back to running the batch evaluation. I'm going to select the data set I already had, so jokes. I'm going to include all the lines. And then I'm going to select um, that the column topic matches the topic parameter in our prompt. And I'm going to run the evaluation. So now what this is doing, it's, it's compiling. Uh, multiple versions of the prompt is running those versions against um, well, the provider API and then it's running evaluations with that prompt we just saw on top of that. So we can see that our average is 4.67. Um, I can go in and see why some of them are 4s instead of 5s um, and I can even check the original log to see what happened. Okay, And now I'm um, just going to save this version I'm going to publish it right here, publish the production, because I'm quite happy with the results. Um, for this specific prompt, I'm using GPT-40 Mini. So I want to check whether GPT-40 um, is going to give me better results. So to do that, I'm just going to create a new version. I'm going to call it a new model test. I'm going to create it. I'm going to go back into the prompt. And now I'm going to select GPT-40 instead of GPT-40 Mini. Now I'm going to go back to evaluations because I want to test this at scale. I'm going to go back to the evaluation I just created. I'm just going to run it again with the same data set we created, um, including all the lines again, and then selecting topic here. I run the evaluations. And now uh, it's going to do the same process again. The only difference is that uh, it's going to use GPT-40 instead of GPT-40 Mini. And not only that, it's going to show me um, where the different versions of the prompt stand against each other 
in this nice chart that we have here. So for example, this is the current version I have selected, no? the new one with, with GPT-4L. So in this case, the average result was 4.81 um, compared to 4.67 uh, in GPT-4L Mini. But we can also see that the cost increased. So for example, the average cost using GPT-4L is way higher than GPT-4L Mini. So I guess in this case, I can go back to GPT-4L Mini and refine my prompt based on the um, evaluations that are not passing or that are not fives um, to try to improve it because I think I can get there while keeping the costs low. And that's it. That's how you can compare different models uh, using the same prompt and the same evaluation, just changing the model quickly in the selector and see how they stand against each other. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.